What's up guys, this is Jake with Fish Tech, and today we're gonna to be checking out some gaming on the new MacBook Pro with Vega 20 graphics. Now what I wanna see is, how does this thing handle newer titles? Can it do 10, 1080p, 60 frames per second? Uh, we're gonna compare it with some older games as well. And in the future, we're gonna check out some things like Final Cut and testing all a bunch of programs you guys are asking for. So if you're interested in seeing that, be sure to subscribe. All right, let's get into some benchmarks. We start off with some Doom gameplay here. Right off the bat, this is running very well. We averaged almost 85 frames per second, 61 on the low end, 102 on the high end, and this is with the high preset at 1080p. Uh, we can thank the Vulcan engine for being so impressive uh, at <laughs> handling games, but still very impressed with how this graphics card is performing with this game. And there was so much going on during this scene, a lot of lighting effects, a lot of death going on. After that, we got Witcher 3, notorious for being incredibly difficult on your graphics card. We, with the medium preset, were getting about 55 frames per second. Honestly, that is pretty good for Witcher 3 at 1080p, and it was very stable. There weren't any dips below 48, even though it didn't get much higher, that's totally fine, as long as it's stable. After that, we went to Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which is a new 2018 game. Uh, and this definitely was much harder on the graphics card. We had to turn it down all the way to the low preset at 1080p to get that close to 60 frames per second on average. And we had some dips that went way down into the 30s, uh, but there were some very high highs to make up for that. Overall, pretty impressed with this graphics card. It's getting comparable levels to a GTX 1050 Ti, um, but it's only drawing half as much power, uh, which is pretty crazy. When I was doing the tests, I was getting about 37 to 39 watts of power draw, whereas a GTX 1050 Ti would be drawing about 70 to 75. So that's kind of insane. Good job, AMD, on that one. Uh, if you're interested in seeing some more tests like these, make sure to comment down below what you wanna see uh, and subscribe to stay tuned for more videos. Thank you guys for watching.